Live from the financial capital of the galaxy, the New York Stock Exchange, this is Squawk on the Street. And in this fast-paced return-hungry world, collective intelligence isn't just reserved for Wikipedia entries. 125 shrewd individuals with $7 billion in assets are applying the concept to investing. Michael Sonnenfeld is founder of this unique group. It's called Tiger 21, a peer-to-peer -peer learning group for high net worth investors. He joins us to share some of the wisdom. Thanks so much for coming in, Michael. Thanks for having it's me. It's great to meet you. So first, could you explain what this is? I mean, is this you get together with a lot of other very wealthy people who have at least $10 million and talk about stocks, investing ideas? We do. It's uh, people who've generally built large businesses and sold them, or they could have been the head of a New York Stock Exchange company uh, and retired. And now, for the first time, they're investors. Their economic life is based on the returns they're going to earn in investments, and they join a confidential group of 12 people. We have about 15 groups around the country, and they meet for a full day once a month to discuss the issues, primarily finances, but as we say, investors sign up and people show up, so anything is fair game. How do you, what's the selection criteria? I mean, you obviously have to have a certain net worth, but I mean, how do you find new people? These are people who used to run businesses or right. own seats here at the New York Stock Exchange, right? right? Self-made millionaires. Right. Uh, the main selection criteria is our members recommend people to the group. Sometimes media like this identifies us to a potential member, but then we have a very extensive process so that not any, it's not for everybody, and we want to make sure only people of high integrity are getting through the door because mm -hmm. there's a lot of confidential information being discussed. I have a lot of integrity. But I don't have $50 million, yeah, which you... appears to be your average right. uh, <laughs> $7 billion divided by 125 Exactly. Okay. Um, what do you like right now? Investing for the long term. That's what our focus is. We try and have the discipline not to like something right now. Very well, few market timers in our group. Right, but you have to. I mean, are you fully invested not buying anymore? I mean, yeah. if, if, if money comes in the door, yeah. you so, have to buy something. Sure. What we focus on is buckets, uh, so about 30% of our assets are in public stocks, about half of what you would expect. Yeah. And the other half of that, the other 30%, typically in stocks, are spread between private equity, hedge funds, and investment real estate. That's to produce independent returns. We also are holding about 10% in cash. This is the aggregate of our members when we poll them. Is, is the 10% cash... Uh, how is that historically? Yeah, it's higher than the literature would suggest. Our members believe... But for your group, how yeah, is it historically? We've only been do polling two years. But what we know is that our members live on about 3%. We have a rule that says if you have 10 million or 100 million, your annual budget probably is about 3% of your assets. And if you're holding 10%, it means you have three years living expenses ready to deploy to cover you in case of a market downturn or some unexpected event. When you talk about individual real estate, I mean, is this because you have such wealthy investors? These people go out and when they do real estate, they're actually going out and buying the building itself or the commercial right. property itself. They're not going through some sort of a middle person. Yeah, well, what, what our poll shows is about 16% of our members' assets are in investment real estate. Sometimes they own a building. Very often when you have a small company and you've sold the company, you hold on to the building and you collect rent back. Mm -hmm. But it could be real estate partnerships, it, but it's not an REIT per se. It's something that you're deriving generally current income on. The 30% publicly traded stocks, uh, U.S. stocks or do you look farther than uh, that? A, a big international exposure, increasing amounts of index funds, we're not big believers in stock pickers, although we do have some world-class stock pickers among our group who came from places like Wall Street, and they have a higher percentage Correct. of their portfolio. Literally index funds, or do you go into ETFs? So ETFs are a growing uh, portion of the portfolio because people can focus more clearly when they yep. uh, pick mm -hmm. the ETF. And obviously, your group finds these economically att uh, attractive or efficient. Very economically attractive and diversifying. The mm -hmm. whole key is to get a diversified, lower portfolio, uh, lower volatility portfolio. Michael, thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it, your Michael. insight. We've got, we're running out of time. Michael Sonnenfeld, don't go away. We'll be right back.